Episode 3, Future Prospects for Haemophilia A Treatment. Hello again. In Episode 1, we explained how blood clotting is affected in people living with Haemophilia A. And in Episode 2, we highlighted how the development of inhibitors to Factor 8 can stop treatment from working. People with Haemophilia A, who develop inhibitors to Factor 8, have a particular challenge in managing their condition and are at risk every day for life-threatening bleeds. Even people with Haemophilia A who don't have inhibitors can struggle to form a clot properly and every bleed they experience may contribute to long-term damage to their joints. New approaches in the management of Haemophilia A, such as gene therapy and monoclonal antibodies, are in development to potentially address some of the unmet needs and provide potential new treatment options for all people with Haemophilia A. Gene therapies are designed to deliver a Factor VIII gene using a viral vector into the patient's liver cells to produce Factor VIII. This is like high divers approaching the end of the high board and then diving into the pool. We can imagine monoclonal antibodies with their targeted mechanism of action to be like archers, who require a high degree of skill and accuracy to aim and shoot their arrows to reach their target. Because monoclonal antibodies are different from factor VIII replacement therapies, both in their molecular structure and how they work, they may not cause inhibitors to develop and their efficacy may not be blocked by inhibitors to factor VIII. Gene therapies and monoclonal antibodies work in alternative ways, but ultimately can help to restore the normal blood clotting process. In the future, the addition of these new approaches could provide people living with Haemophilia A more treatment options to help manage their condition. <laughs>